Hey guys, it's Chitura, and today I got myself a baby. Not a baby, but a female crown tail from the local Petco. It's a blue crown tail. Right here. Get those deep blue colors on it. It's real good. I'm still on my way home, so this is just a temporary container for it. This crown tail looks healthy. I like the finish on it. It's real active, so. And there are only like two blue ones, and I wanted one. The other one wasn't that active, so. Selected this one. I like the dark blue colors on it. Now I told him I got this 30 gallon tank, and I got a male fighter and a female. The male is a veil, a veil tail, it's red, and the female it was the white one, but then changed colors, now it's around, it's like blackish, brownish, with a bit of neon on its tails. Well, the male and female, they exist peacefully because they're other fish. It's a community tank, and you know, they don't fight around. So I'm hoping this female doesn't cause any problems, or the other fish don't cause any problems to her. Let's see, I'll be right back guys, I'll talk to you guys after I get home, and I'll show you guys the releasing of the female crown tail into the tank, alright, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I just released the female crown tail into the tank, and she just swam to the bottom, oh there she is right there. Right. I know the zoom is not good, it's not focusing. I'm trying to focus. Come on, focus. There you go. And she's gone. Now, here's my other female beta, Khaleesi. There's my male whale tail. Drill gone. Drill gone. There you are. Alright. I'm guessing the new crown tail is a bit shy. And her name's gonna be Blue. If I didn't mention that, because of her deep blue color. Hopefully she'll become more active or, you know, swim around uh, as time goes by. Let me try and get one more shot. She was right here. Mm. Hmm, I can't find her. Oh, there she is. Alright guys. I'll post an update video in a few days. Till then, take care.